I think steroids are as American as apple pie. Dang it! You're watching Muscle Sport Magazine. Hey, what's up, guys? Alright, listen. I know you momos have been waiting for the fucking bicep video, and this is not it, alright? It's really pretty much done. I just gotta put it together. I wanna need to put a little final touches on it, but I haven't had the time, uh, only because, first of all, I've been handling family shit. I've been sick. Look, even I'm on, uh, Citro Max, okay, you know, whatever you call it, you know, the Citro Max, whatever, fuck that, Z Pack. I even have a, my little thing here that I gotta fucking take because. Yeah, I got like asthma and shit. But anyway, yeah, I don't always have asthma. Just but right now my bronchitis turned into asthma and I couldn't talk. So now I can talk. All right, but I wasn't able to talk for about a week and a half, two weeks. So I wasn't able to make the the bicep video. All right, so there we go. And you know, I I I'm gonna talk in another minute. I'm gonna bring up something that I went over the counter and I took. Uh, I bought some Primatine. And I had to show my license, my driver's license for that. And I'm going to talk about that in a second. But um, I just wanted to say that the series I did with Storytime with Greg Valentino with Generation Iron is coming out. I believe it's coming out uh, today while I'm making this video. So when I release this video, it should be out. All right? And um, it's going to be good. Storytime with Greg Valentino. I'm doing a lot with Generation Iron. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Uh, I know that, you know, there's a little talk of maybe me and C.T. Fletcher doing something together. If C.T. Fletcher had uh, uh, tweeted me, and I tweeted him back, great guy. I respect him very, very much. We'll see. You know, we're talking to Generation Iron right now. Um, you know, Muscle Sport Mag is uh, Joe Pitaro. Because as you know, I work with Muscle Sport Magazine. I'm the managing editor. I used to be with Muscular Development. Now I'm with Muscle Sport Mag, so I urge you all to go there. But regardless, uh, I just released a whole series that I've been doing with Generation Iron. I am part, you know, I'm part of their Generation Iron Television Network. I'm proud. Uh, uh, I'm, this is going to be a good little film, so I urge you guys to check it out. If you like my stories, it's some fucking nutty stories, and this is just the beginning. Okay? All right. Uh, I'm sorry about the bicep video, guys. It's coming. It's just Try to bear with me. Forgive me. Don't be mad. Don't unfriend me or whatever you call it. Unsubscribe. Please, just bear with me. All right? I'm sorry. Uh, I, I, I promise you that my bicep video will change your whole workout. I guarantee it's going to open your eyes. It's going to make you think differently. The bicep video is its going to change your training. All right? And it's going to renew your growth, renew your gains. And uh, it's going to make you look at all these other bicep video guys. Because you know, most guys, when they do these bicep videos, it's really in the glory of them. Because they're already jacked. They're like, look. Gah, ee, gah. And you see them, and they're all pumped up, and they're standing there shaking their arm. And it's more of a, you know, I mean, come on. Who doesn't know, like, you know, barbell curls, bi you know, build biceps. You know what I mean? Or standing there doing dumbbell curls. But here's the thing. Most of them are doing it wrong. Even though they're jacked. Come on. I mean, you shoot shit in the arm, you get fucking, you know, take a lot of steroids and all that shit. My video that's coming out will make even a natty renew his bicep, yo, growth, okay? It's different. I'm not going to be standing there training and pumping up my biceps. You guys can go, wow, look at the size of him. Oh, shit. Because if that's what you want to do, if you're looking to jack off on a guy who's jacked and shit like that, then my bicep video is not going to be for you. Because it's not a jerk-off video, okay? It's a video that I'm going to show you how the biceps actually grow and what makes them grow and why you're doing shit wrong. And so are a lot of your heroes, okay? Trust me, it's going to be a good, really good video. All right, enough of my own ass greasing, greasing my own ass. Uh, I just wanted to tell you because, see, a lot of guys are writing, hey, where the fuck's the videos? You haven't put up any video? Well, blah, 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 you know. I'm sorry, guys. I, you know, I have, first of all, I'm handling personal shit over the house here. You know what I mean? With the family and everything like that. Everything's good, so I appreciate your concern, but a lot of bullshit. So, second of all, you know, I, I, I had a cold, you know, so I went and I get Primatine. Now, 
Guys, Primatine is ephedrine HCL. Don't give me that bronchage shit. That's, bron that's ephedrine sulfate, which is two different things. This is eph ephedrine HCL. This is like the old dimetrodine, except they put the galfacin in it. So, you know, two tablets. See, this comes in a two-tablet thing, right? These two tablets are 25 milligrams, and it's got 100 milligrams of galfacin, or whatever the fuck you say that shit, um, in each tablet. All right, so in essence, they're diluting it, so you just fucking, whoever makes crack or whatever they make on this shit, I don't know what the hell they make, some sort of fucking drug, you know, down in uh, wherever, but, you know, it dilutes the ephedrine. So it doesn't hit you like the old dimetrodines or, you know, like the old ephedrine, the old ephedrines used to hit you. But it is the same fucking drug. Now, why am I taking this? Not because I want to fly, but because I got fucking bronchitis, right? I've always had it. I get little bouts of asthma, and that's one of the reasons why I also haven't finished the bicep video, because I couldn't talk, all right? Do I take this for the working out, see primatine? Do I take it for working out? Nah, I don't take it for working out. I take other stuff, because it just doesn't hit you the same way the old dimetrodines used to hit you, but it is the same drug, all right? And it's way better than bronchade, the, that sulfate shit. It's not the same drug. Go look. Bronchate is ephedrine sulfate. This is ephedrine hydrochloride, okay? Comes in that primatine. Now, here's the fucking bitch about that. They want to legalize pot, right? Now, okay, simmer down. I know a lot of you guys are potheads, and you're like, oh, dude, there's nothing wrong. Pot's a good drug. It doesn't affect you. It's all bullshit. Whatever, okay? That's for you. I'm not going not gonna to attack you for that. But don't attack me because I don't smoke, all right? You want to do it? It's your business. I don't like it. For me. That's for me. Whatever you do, I don't give a shit. But it does bother me, though, that for me to get these fucking primatines, I have to show my driver's license. I got to sit there like I'm doing a criminal act. You know, they want me to sign shit. I got to put my phone number down. They want to, you know, they take down my driver's license. You know, they do all this other stuff. You know, like I'm some sort of criminal. Like I'm going to make some fucking, you know, crack or ice or whatever that drug is, crystal meth, out of this shit. I mean, Really? You know, a cold medicine, I gotta, I, I gotta, I gotta fucking, you know, sign, sign away my life like I'm doing, like I'm some sort of criminal for that shit. Oh, man. But yeah, you want to legalize marijuana. Again, potheads, relax. I'm just simply saying. All right? Holy Christ. Some of the guys that I did the fucking, when I did that thing about Arnold smoke about, I had guys attacking me on there, you know. Oh, you don't know. You Steroids are still worse for you than marijuana. Nobody ever died from pot. Anything that gets you high and affects your brain, your thinking, to me, makes you lose control. Which brings me to the end. I'm going to, at the end of this video, I'm not going to give you a story. I'm going to give you a lesson. It is a story, but it's a lesson. All right? It's not funny. It's not something you're going to be like, ha, ha, ha. It's not about my mother-in-law. It's not about me taking a fucking dump off a building or something like that. It's, it's a true story. It's a story that uh, I've talked about for, for many years. They talked about it in Muscular Development Magazine. It happened about seven years ago. It was a long time ago. Okay? I talked about it I think, with David Palomo, John Romano. I talked to, talked to it on the radio show. Uh, we've talked about it. It's, it's a big, it's a very, everybody that knows me knows about it. But I'm going to tell you guys this story, all right? It's a story about alcohol, actually. All right, now, like on New Year's Eve, I don't drink. I don't drink even. I've been best man at a wedding, and I don't drink because I like to keep in control. All right, I'm simply saying that when you do anything that affects your thinking, or you lose control, it there's consequences. And I'm going to show. I'm going to tell you the story. Come up. It's a, it, like I said, it's a true story. So, but that's coming up in a second. It just pisses me off, bro. Really? I got to fucking get my license for this? To get this? I got to fucking... The federal government's going to fucking moderate me because I took a fucking box of effigy. Anyway. All right, guys. The bicep video's coming. This is just a message to you guys. This is just a heads up. Just so you think... I didn't fall off the end of the earth. I haven't felt good. I've been sick. I've been handling shit at home here. I'm sorry that it has taken so long. Please forgive me, all right? And I want to thank you, Momos, for being here. Be good to your girls. Spend time with your kids. Stop fucking around, man, all right? I love you, Momos.
You're my momos. Don't forget that. I know. I'm the biggest fucking momo of them all. Look at this fucking face. You know? Look, hey, I gotta say one thing. Look. Look at this. You see that? Look. That's Curly from the Tree Stooges. My my daughter, she brings her friends over. And my my her friends are over there. And, and you know, this is in a this is in a house. And, my, and her friends are like, Yo, why is your father got his little statue of himself? And I'm like, dude, that's Curly from the Tree Stooges. He's a Tree Stooges. Does that look like me? Okay. I'll see you momos very soon, a couple days with the bicep video. Watch this next video. I promise you're going to love it. <laughs> Why saintly, Mo? Under the circumstances, saintly. Do you believe that shit? My, my, my daughter's friends think that's fucking me. That's fucked up. Hey, stop fucking around. Under the circumstance, saintly. This is Greg Valentino and my buddy Curly telling you, see you momos later. <laughs> He's a handsome guy, ain't he? Now he looks better. Now that he got that little stuff growing on there, he looks much better than he did, huh? Stop fucking around. <laughs> Sent on my ass, motherfucker. Fuck off. This is a quick, it's not really a story, but it's a lesson, alright? Um, I don't drink, and I don't smoke, I don't do any of that shit, alright? Uh, and New Year's Eve just passed, and I you know, always wish everybody, you know, you know, be responsible if you drink, uh, you know, make sure that, you, you know, you're not an asshole, you know, let somebody else drive. But one of the reasons why I don't drink, well, there's a few reasons. <clears throat> I never drank in my life. I never, never even tasted beer, wine. I'm Italian, and I never even tasted wine. Okay, but anyway, here's the deal. Oh, by the way, guys, talk about my fucking steering wheel. Some of you fucking guys, it's cause the sun hits it. I mean, I'm driving in a Hyundai Elantra here, so like, it's not like a BMW, but it's not a hoopty anyway. Okay, it's just the fucking sun hits it right here. It's no big deal. It's fine. Some of you fucking momos. I mean, my God in heaven. Holy Christ, you know, come on, is we you worried about that? You know, that's some of the comments I get. All right, give me back to my story. So anyway, this is one of the lessons I tell everybody, okay? This is one of the reasons why I don't drink. First of all, I don't drink because, A, my father didn't drink, and he instilled that in me. You know what I mean? He, my father was a tough guy. He, you know, he played, you know, he, he played a lot of sports was actually a decathlon athlete when he was young, all right? But, you know, his father died. He had to take care of his family. All right, put that aside. So I never drank because I idolized my father, and I wanted to be just like my father, all right? The other thing is I never drank, and this is one of the reasons why. It's because I don't like to lose control, all right? There's a lot of guys, you know, you drink, you lose control. So anyway... <clears throat> We're in a nightclub. I'm in Club Exit. New York City, baby. My home. I tell the story uh, a million times, bro. I've told it on the radio. It happened a long time ago, like seven years ago. All right? I was with my girlfriend in a club. And it was New Year's Eve. All right? It was New Year's Eve. Everybody was drunk. Everybody was happy, you know, having a good time. There's a guy I know. He, everybody knew him. He's a badass. He's a boxer. Isn't he? We'll call him Joe Boxer. That's not his real name. Alright, it's just so for me to tell the story, because I'm not, I'm not going to throw his name out there. 
alright? He's a really good boxer, bro. He fought in the fucking Golden Gloves and won. And he's a knockout artist, bro. He's a heavyweight, too. He's like 235. I mean, I think when he, when he fights, he's like 210 or something like that. But he don't fuck around, okay? He's a bad dude. He's a bad dude. But every time he's in the fucking club, he's a fucking sloppy drunk. An obnoxious, sloppy drunk. Grabbing ass, doing fucked up shit. Anyway. Get that in your head. On this night, he was acting like an asshole. He was all over the club. He come up to me, he talked to me, you know, I like, love you, bro. Kissing me in a fucking cheeky shit, you know what I mean? Fucking slapping girls on the ass, pushing guys, you know, drunk. A fucking drunken Momo. Nothing worse than a drunken Momo. And he, he comes over, he's talking to me, and he puts his hand on my girlfriend's shoulder, you know? And my girlfriend, she don't like that. She don't like that at all, right? So, you know, she's just looking at me, you know, and I told her, let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. You know, he doesn't mean anything by it, you know. So, I, I said, hey, Joe, she's, she feels uncomfortable, you know, because you get your hand off the shoulder. Yeah, I'm sorry, bro, sorry, sorry, you know. And, you know, so, so anyway, he's walking around the club, bouncing, knocking off him, bouncing into everybody and everything. This the guy, on any other given day, would have fucking knocked out any guy in that club if he wanted to. He's fucking drunk, he's walking around, he's acting like a fucking asshole. And then later when my girlfriend tells me, I gotta go to the bathroom. So she goes over on the line in the bathroom. Now, we're in Club X, and the guys and girls, they go in the same bathroom a lot of times, you know? They do coke in there, they do drugs in there, ecstasy. Fucking girls give guys blowjobs, whatever the fuck. It's, it's, you know, this is New York City, bro. This ain't fucking Cornfield, USA, you know what I mean? But anyway... So, she's on line for the bathroom, and I'm across the club, you know, and he comes up, and he's drunk, he's got a beer in his hand, right, and he's spilling it all over everybody, bouncing and everybody, and the bouncers, you know, watching him and everything, you know, but they know he's a fucking nut. Anyway, he comes over, and he's on the fucking, he comes over to the line where, you know, where everybody is, and he smacks this fat black chick on the ass, bang, right, and she pushes him. I see get the fuck get the fuck, don't touch me again, blah, you know. He comes over to my girlfriend and he puts his hand back on her shoulder. And he starts almost like hitting on her. Right? So she says to him, Do me a favor, get your fucking hand off my shoulder. I don't you know, you you're being an asshole. Nobody here even likes you, right? One of my boys is over there, you know, and he's talking with some chick and shit. And next thing he knows, he sees my girlfriend and Joe Boxer arguing. So he says, oh shit. So he runs over to get me. And as I, I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. So as I'm coming over, all I see is I see his face one inch away from my girlfriend's face like this. You know, saying something to her. And I see her kind of pulling back a little bit like this. And then I see her go bang like this and hit him right here. And I saw him kind of stumble back like this. His back hits the wall, bang like this, and he drops straight down onto the ground. And I hear everybody like, ah, you know, they're all freaking out. I see girls and everything. And then he, 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 he kind of starts trying to get up a little bit. He says something, and she comes over and it kicks him right in the fucking head, and he's out cold. And now he's laying like a pile of shit. Bouncers come over, and the girls are all on the line and jumping over to the bouncers, and they're all like, you know, like this, and everybody's like this and shit, and like that. And my girlfriend's fucking freaking out. She's pissed. I come over, I said, what the fuck happened? She said he was fucking, you know, he was kind of hitting on her. She goes, his breath stinking and shit. And he's one inch away from her face after she told him, get lost, you're a fucking drunk. So he called her a spick cunt. Dude, you, the fucking word cunt kills women anyway. You say that word. Go tell your fucking girl that word, anybody, you know. That word makes a woman insane. But she's Spanish, she's Mexican anyway, right? So you say the word spit cunt. It's what uh, my, you know, you're, you know, you, my girl's gonna fucking kick your ass. So he called her a spit cunt. She hit him fucking one shot here. And when he went down, he told her, same shit, you fucking spit fucking whore, I'm gonna kill you. And that's when she kicked him in the head. Alright? So. Now it is Joe Boxer, laying there, like a pile of fucking shit, knocked out cold, 
okay? By a girl that's five feet four, 115 pounds, all right? That's it. My girl's skinny, 115 pounds, bro. And she fucking threw a right hook and knocked him out cold. Guy who won the Golden Gloves knocks dudes out and shit all the time in the club. Derry is laying like a pile of shit. What's the moral to my story? The moral to my story, bro, is not that... It's not that my girlfriend's tough, because she's really not. Alright? She takes no shit. Okay, but she's not a tough... She's not tough. Alright? But it just shows you that any fucking momo or fucko with too much alcohol in, in there, you're done, bro. You're done. You can't make your own decisions. You no longer are in control. Alright? He lost control of himself. On any given day, he would have knocked the dude out. But he was so drunk, he probably couldn't even raise his hands. He couldn't do anything. He was in, a, in another world. Alright? He didn't even remember. I've seen him since. And he apologized to me. He apologized to my girl. He don't even remember it. Alright? That's how fucked up you are when you drink. Alright? That's a fucko. Alright? That's being a fucko. I'm just telling you guys, that's why I don't drink. Because you give up control. Alright? You give up control. And I don't believe in drinking. That's just me. So on New Year's, I toast with water. Because I'm a you know, that's the way it is for me. I told that story a million times. I've told it on the radio. My girlfriend, you know, she doesn't, like I said, my girlfriend doesn't think she's tough to it. Everybody on that line, those other girls, were sticking up for her with the bouncers. They were telling the bouncers, no, he deserved it. He called her a fucking speck and a cunt. You know what I mean? You don't call a girl a cunt. You don't. All right? I'm just telling you that. You're, getting, you're gonna get a fucking right hook. Anyway. That's the moral to my story, guys. That's why I don't drink. I'll never drink, bro. I'll never drink. Because of that. All right? This is no great story. It's not funny. It's not something you guys are like, oh, I love that story. Okay, what it boils down to is that it's a lesson. It's a lesson. That's why guys get DWIs. That's why you're driving all over the fucking road, okay? God forbid you kill yourself or somebody else. All right? If you drink, you drink responsibly. Don't be a fucking momo. Stay in control, all right?